Welcome to BMP TV. I'm Owen Deacon, West Midlands Regional Organiser, and today we've been Stoke on Trent uh, with the Stoke on Trent organiser Mike Coleman and number one candidate for the Euros as well. Uh, we're in Stoke on Trent today because Stoke on Trent Group are starting a new campaign today. Uh, we've kicked it off with uh, a leaflet, and we'll just talk to Mike Coleman about this leaflet and about what, the campaign. Hello, Mike. Can you tell us a bit more about this uh, campaign that you're doing? Well, uh, we had the census in 2010 and in 2011. The results of the census have been released and I've been doing a little bit of work looking into the changing demographics of Stoke-on-Trent. And we've come up with some really, really startling uh, news. And that is basically, uh, and that's really the headline of the leaflets, is that Stoke-on-Trent will become effectively a Muslim city by 2045. Uh, what we're seeing is um, the relentless um, migration of foreigners into Stoke-on-Trent. Uh, we, we think they're being di diverted here under various government programmes, um, one of the most important of which is the government's ethnic minority dispersal programme, whereby they're dispersing um, new migrants from the South East, in particular London, into places like the West Midlands. And for us, the bombshell in the West Midlands was when uh, Birmingham withdrew from that um, arrangement with government and no longer receives um, foreigners into Birmingham under that process and so what we're seeing is thousands, tens of thousands of foreigners coming into the West Midlands but they're not going to Birmingham and so they're going to places like Stoke-on-Trent yeah. and that really um, describes exactly what we've seen, our own experiences, experiences of the people is that we're seeing uh, radical and rapid change in our city. Um, and so we produced this, this leaflet, this information leaflet to take that knowledge and that awareness to the people because they certainly, the people of Stoke-on-Trent are certainly not going to be learning this information through the controlled media. We produced this leaflet, uh, basically the headline is that uh, the city, if these, um, this incoming, this, the, these immigrants continue to come into this city at the current rate where they're doubling and trebling their numbers every decade by the year, uh, 2045 this is going to be a Muslim city and what we've also recognized and what the census figures reveal is that we're losing 25,000 Stokies every every decade they're leaving the city I believe they're leaving the city because they don't like the way the city is going they, they are fleeing this changing city and it's really a vote on um, this government's, this traitor government's policy of uh, enforced integration, enforced multiculturalism. People don't really like it. It's ugly. It's, it's, it's nasty. And they're voting with their feet and they're leaving Stoke-on-Trent. We've seen that. So the leaflet then goes on to give a few statistics on the, the census, which is there. Um, we're having loads of new mosques built in the city to accommodate new, this new Muslim growth. Um, in particular, Longton, where we are now, will be hit by this this this, this change. I, I believe um, we've got a Muslim group in the city that wishes to open a Muslim faith school in Longton, which is uh, about half a mile over there. And if that does come about, then we know that will become the centre for um, uh, growth for the, for that Muslim community there. And that that will bring even more radical and rapid change for Longton. Um, on the back, we we've. We declared here in this box that we, as Stoke BMP, we believe this process to be an illegal process. This, this process since the war, in particular since the early 1950s, to enforceably um, integrate and change uh, our country is a criminal process imposed upon us by a rogue uh, criminal political class which has basically been inserted into this country after the war. Uh, we don't like it. It's criminal. The people who've come, those foreigners that have come into this country under that process are here um, illegally, we believe. And really, actually, when you think about it, they've got no right to be here. That's our line. It's a strong line, but um, this situation, this political situation in this country is radicalising and the BNP have got to be at the, the forefront, at the point of, of that, that challenge. And we want to challenge that view that this is in some way um, legal and as legitimacy because it's been supported by members of the public actually they've never been given the choice the Labour Party and the Tory Party have never actually gone out to the people of this country and said do you want this 
They've never done that, and so none of what's gone on has been uh, sanctioned by the people. Thus, it's illegal. We wanted to say that bolding we have on the back of the leaflets. We also wanted to expose the Labour and the Tory party as um, traitorous organisations, organisations that have been usurped, uh, taken into possession of minorities and powerful interest groups. And basically, uh, our finishing line, and I will read it out, is... Stoke British National Party will never cease our struggle to recover our homeland and return its ownership and control to its rightful owners, which of course it's the British people, that's how we finished our leaflet. Uh, it's a hard-hitting leaflet, it's a, it's a bit of an ugly message to be honest, but part of our role is to wake our people up and even if the message is ugly and unpleasant, we still got a duty as a political party to take that vital information to the people and that's what we've done today and we've done very well. Thank you Elwin for coming up here and helping us to leave but we put over 1500 of these out today in Longton. Yeah. So I've been out this morning with you on the doorsteps and you say uh, the leaflets are hitting but what I found with people on the doorstep it may be hard hitting but it's truthful and the people on the doorstep have come out and said how warped that leaflet is and how correct and disgusting they are with Stoke on Trent. So the support for the British National Party in Stoke on Trent is still very very high. It's massive and it's something that we as a party and party members need to really recognise is that the support base for the BMP and we're standing right in the middle of a BMP uh, constituency. This is a ward that we've won in twice, um, Longton North. Um, we've had two councillors here. It's still sky high. We, our stock is high. We, we are popular in this area and it's because we talk the truth and um, we are no-nonsense people in Stoke-on-Trent and we don't fall for any sort of flannel and so that's why this will be recognised and accepted as being truthful and honest and it will result in our increased popularity. So um, I'm pleased to put it out. We're going to be putting out thousands of these. Um, Stoke BMP believe passionately in um, winning the propaganda war and by God we're going to be doing that by going out there. I mean, we, we've got not, we haven't got access to the radio we haven't got access to the BBC or the big, big uh, newspapers, but we have got access to this. This is what we control. And today we put 1,500 um, unadulterated BMP information leaflets through people's doors. That's power. That's real power. That's, 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 that's communicating directly to the people. We believe passionately in that. That's why we're going to be putting out 25, 30, 40,000 of these across Stoke on Trent. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. We'll get back to leafleting now. That's Alan Deacon for BMP TV.